The PC police versus patriotism. <clears throat> All right, some on the left moving further and further to the left and leaving American pride behind. On this Independence Day, we're going to take a look at how patriotism is becoming a political target. Here to react, a visiting fellow with the Independent Women's Forum, Beverly Hallberg. Thanks for coming on this morning. Beverly, you know, a lot of things that people embraced and took pride in not so long ago today they have an issue with. Why do you think that is? Well, I think we've seen a waning in American patriotism for a while. Many people on the left think that American exceptionalism is fading. You had Pete Buttigieg even saying in May that America wasn't as great as advertised, or even the New York Times came out with a video this week saying that when it comes to America, it's just okay, and that even the notion that, the, that America is the greatest nation on earth is outdated at best, and at worst, completely inaccurate. So there seems to be this growing trend that if you have have some type of country pride, you must be xenophobic or a racist, um, because it's all based on the idea that in order for America to be exceptional, it has to be absolutely flawless in every area. It's okay to say America's yeah. history does have some problems, but that doesn't mean it isn't exceptional. That's a great point. We just got a tutorial on the Betsy Ross flag. Let's talk about the shoe that kind of started this conversation this week, uh, Nike shoe that they were going to bring out, release, and Colin Kaepernick said no. He uh, pulls a lot of weight around there now, and here's a statement from Nike. Nike made the decision to halt distribution of the Air Max One Quick Strike 4th of July based on concerns that it could unintentionally offend and detract from the nation's patriotic holiday. But let's take a look at a picture here from not too long ago, about six years ago, Barack Obama's second inaugural address, the first black president in the United States. And you can see the Betsy Ross flag flanking our current American flag there at the top. Nobody had a problem with this six years ago, Beverly. And this is why giving information like you just did in the segment prior and learning about the Betsy Ross flag is so important because when people don't have the proper information, they do tend to be outraged about things that aren't supposed to be a big issue. And when it comes to Nike, um, I think it's laughable to say that they're doing any of this um, because of the issue of human rights, because they also remove one of their products in China, because the designer of that, that Nike product was standing up for the pro-democracy groups in Hong Kong. So Nike is very inconsistent with, with their decisions. I think it's always a business decision for them, which they can do. Always. And then the public can decide whether or not they want to buy Nike anymore. Yeah, if, if anybody thinks that a major corporation has any morality at all, <laughs> all they care about is the profit. And they're trying to figure out what they got to say to get to that point. All right, Beverly, we appreciate your time this morning. We do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right.